Greetings, greetings, greetings. Brand new. You know, set equipment. Let me see how this work. Freedom. Accountability. Responsibility. And liability. So that is freedom. Freedom is actually accountability, responsibility, and liability. Now we say freedom is the power or right to act, speak, and change as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Freedom is often associated with liberty and autonomy. In the sense of giving oneself one's own laws. Again, freedom is often associated with liberty and autonomy in the sense of giving oneself one's own law. In other words, like how we have an ordinance of estate, you establish and publish your own laws out there. In one definition, something is free if it can change and is not constrained in its present state. So as usual, with us are share information for bring honorable clarification. That's it. The abrogation, abridgment, infringement and deprivation of our inherent dignity, liberty, and ownership of property by the foreign crown agency, i.e. government of Jamaica, under the guise or color of commercial law that is contrary to, charter, to chapter 3 of the Constitution as amended 2011 which is the supreme law of the land known as Jamaica. So again, Jamaica was created by Constitution, Order and Council 1962. And within that construct, it said the Bill of Rights Chapter 3, Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom. It states, no organs of the state shall make no act to abrogate, infringe, or abridge the fundamental rights and freedoms of the people. It also states that the Crown Agency itself must, shall, observe the inherent dignity and the human rights of the people. The document said clearly, and we are talking about law, constitutional law, not uniform commercial law, not statutory law. We are talking about constitutional law that derived from what I'm called a common law according to their construct. Nothing to do with I. All we can do is try to comprehend whatever construct is out there. So we have Star Chambers. Star Chambers is an English court of civil and criminal jurisdiction that developed in the late 15th century trying especially those cases affecting the interest of the foreign crown. It was noted for its arbitrary and oppressive judgments and was abolished in 1641. However, in today's modern times, the legal or administrative statutory bodies with strict arbitrary rulings, no due process rights to those accused, and secretive proceedings. 
not on the de jour public record, are sometimes metamorphically called star chambers. So the system went place and I guess the form where them I work with, where them can just arbitrarily do what them want, do anything to you. So let's look at what arbitrary is. Definition. Arbitrary. Based on a random choice or personal whim rather than any lawful reason or lawful system. So, when the senior sergeant of police from the 100-man Greater Portmore Police Station, Sergeant Edwards, A. Edwards, when he make a legal determination on Helsha Road, on the side of the road, and arbitrarily confiscate, seize, stole, my personal automobile and then kidnap me by way of a false arrest and false imprisonment where I could not come out of that imprisonment until I was forced under threat, duress and coercion, forced to sign a notice of recognizant, which is a bond. And this is where everything was crystal clear. Because in order for you to initiate a notice of recognizance bond, we have to go in front of a court of record or a resident magistrate, a common police officer, irrespective of his title, is not a resident magistrate. You understand, on the 100-man police station in Greater Portmore. It's not a court of record. So right there, it's an illegal act, an illegal conduct, which constitute unlawful actions and activities on the part of these foreign crown agents. It goes on to say, the unlawful act or conduct by the Crown agents equates to no due process of law. So I would like to see where in the Constitution, or at least where as a Supreme Court, certified any kind of rules or regulation for it to be implemented as law. We would wish to see those certification. Verify your statement. If you are a police officer, I'll never know it. You are said, no police officer. You're just a man working for a corporation, putting you in a corporate capacity as a police officer. You're an employee for that corporation. Now, as such, there is rules in place to restrict your conduct, to limit your activities. And when you go above and beyond those rules, you're breaking the law. You become an outlaw, irrespective of the guise of authority you purport. You are breaking the law. Because when we are talk about law, we are talking about supreme law, constitution, not law. Nothing to do with uniform commercial courts. Nothing to do with your statutory rules and regulation or your legal standards. We are talking about you not have no right to violate a next man without a next man consent or agreement or some form of contract in place. So if you common constable, Andal Edwards. No, Andal Morgan. Yeah. If you can present your delegation of authority 
you and the senior sergeant of police. It was three of you guys, but I have to salute and respect Officer Porter, who is a proper, decent, and respectful man working as a police officer. So anyway, the officer Porter, my complete respect, salute to you, sir. Yeah, man, complete honor, because you are honorable. For the next young constable, Andel Morgan. I know you're just curious and want to learn, and I know you're going to learn a lot. I know you probably can move on and go do a paralegal course somewhere and upgrade your status and upgrade your life. I know that uh, information is just that. That's what information do. It's supposed to change you. When you get correct information, it's supposed to rearrange you naturally. Anyway, we say, without honorable clarification, a Crown Agency Court shall assume and presume that an accusation without proof against an accused man or woman to be true, correct, and not misleading if not rebutted by the accused man or woman. The Crown Agency Court must identify the participant properly for honorable clar clarity. When we say identify the participants, usually these corporate constructs cannot interface with the true and living man. What they can interface with is the corporate fiction, the artificial entity, the legal entity, that legal title, that birth certificate entity. That's all they can interface with. It is a person. It's just an artificial person, but it is a person. Just like the government of Jamaica, as a corporation, is a person that can be sued. No different from the agencies and the agents. So for honorable clarity, identify the participants. All pleading before a Crown Agency Court must be sworn to by a sworn statement of fact. If an attorney creates a pleading, it can never be sworn to because the attorney can never testify to have first hand knowledge of the fact to anything, or they would become the witness, not the attorney. Of this fact, the accused is cognizant. Rebut all Crown Agency Court presumptive statements made with regard to our location and our identity because the surety which is our bond, i.e. the registered title, all capital name, person, is separate and distinct from the proper name, man or woman, being accused. An undisputed fact is that the corporations can only interface or interact with other corporations. They can never interact with the living man or woman. Hence, you have a surety, and the surety is the corporation, not the living man. So you have two separate and distinct entities at play. However, the foreign crown agency as a corporation cannot interface with the true and living man. This is why when I go into court, Speaking is irrelevant, irrespective of what is being said. It's irrelevant. It's the words that are on the paper that make the court. And when you create your court document and place it out there, that document becomes your court. Nothing to do with these foreign bar member attorneys where they are working for that Crown agency, conflict of interest all the way around. The police are working for the Crown agency. The court system is working on behalf of the Crown agency. And all the participants, our court officers, so-called, are agents of that state. So if you want to stand up and come forward with your truth, then... You now go have nothing out there. 
and you have what is known as a public record, and then you have what is known as a foreign crown court record. Two separate and distinct areas, two separate and distinct things. One is the jour. A public record is the jour. These court records are de facto. This is why the mafia have a standing army in order to try to, you know, maintain their slavery. This is why we say we have a de facto government, a paramount force government, and not a de jure lawful government. We have what is known as a legal or an unlawful system in place. However, the de jure is right there. It's just vacated. So you have to choose which area you're functioning in, or if you choose to operate within the commercial arena. I hope my people are get them clarity there. The registered title, all capital name entity, is the surety, the bond, and the insurance that secures the accused man or woman's presence at the court. Yeah, at the Crown Agency Court. The accuser, complainant, or plaintiff making the general appearance sworn to, I should be sworn to, by a statement of fact, must independently bond their claim. So, the senior sergeant of police for the 100 man police station, A. Edwards, and the common constable, Andel Morgan of the very same station. You both guys bringing this claim have to make sure you have a bond in place. You have to put up on a bond. This is why the RICO can apply to you guys. Because by you not putting up a bond, this is where you're gambling. This is where whoever that cross-dressing court clerk is, this is where you're wagering, you're gambling. And this is where the reek are coming, because you only need two. One, kidnapping, and now the very same agency is gambling. So you're going to gamble on the fact that I'm totally unaware of what's going on when I have a $100,000 bond, insurance bond, notice of recognizance bond in place. Where is your bond? Because the Constitution clearly said, me no need no license to function. It no apply to a free man. And at the conclusion of this thing, you will have to return my $100,000 plus whatever $100,000 bond where you have in place. I'm going to need that. And then we now go have a problem. I give you a simple invoice where you can ignore I tell you, we have a fee schedule on the public record. The de jure public record. Our fee schedule, you notice people, you know, you hear me, I try to push the claim, say, I want money, I want this, I want so. You don't hear me, I say, I want the police to lose them job, I want them to lose this. Nothing like that. That's last resort. We don't have no interest. We are saying what is lawful, let's do what is lawful, what is right and correct, let's do what is right and correct. And when you choose not to, you know, there is consequence. Yeah. To every cause of action, there is always a consequence and compensation. Yeah, man. So we are say, I do believe no such bond exists where the accuser, plaintiff, or complaint is concerned because only the accused man's surety bond is usually displayed in the Crown Agency Court. Who is it that underwrites the accused surety bond without their consent, initiating a false claim? The Crown Agency Court clerk is that culprit, that cross-dressing court clerk. 
will always be the culprit, not the judge. The judge is just a referee, a fact finder. All when them open them mouth, them know we can't tell them, say, shut up and be quiet. Cross dressing judge, shut up. We can't tell them that. Because them not have no stake in this thing. Them not have no bun on the line. They are just a referee. But the, 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 the fraud that's being perpetrated is within the clerk's office. Any clerk that's there is that culprit. That's the one you have to take in Spanish Town Square and hang. That's the treacherous traitor who is participating and per 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 perpetuating treasonous conduct, treasonous act. The court clerk, don't ever forget it. Only because the claims are never independently born to be liquidated to ensure that the accused man or woman is made whole by the accuser's false claim. It's quid pro quo. You're not going to come up here and make a claim against me and put me through all of this. Ruin my life. Destroy all of what I have in place on a door. And then you walk away. Like before, oh, it's yeah, it, it's business as usual. No, I will not settle this claim under no circumstance, and I will not make no claim, no plea, no plea would I make with these demonic people, these devils. Gone outside the law, uno create on a system, uno put the laws and the rules, the bylaws in place, uno have a bill of rights. That constitution that restrain and restrict the conduct and activity of you crown agents and you people circumvent that because you know teach the people them properly because all the people all of us are dumb all of us are illiterate all of we just a learn we are the neophyte we are the beginners we are just now learning Rico, meaning racketeering influence and corrupt organizations. So Rico Act applies to all Crown Agency Court and its agents when they choose to proceed without when they choose to proceed with an unbonded or uninsured matter that they are knowingly, willingly, and intentionally engage in racketeer, influence, and corrupt organizational practice. The racketeer influence and corrupt organization practice um, organization act is a federal law that provides for extended criminal penalties and a civil cause of action for acts performed under color of law as part of an ongoing criminal organization by said agency. Crown agent must prove who they are for the record. Present your credentials on the record for inspection, verification, and validation of your claim as crown agent, police, judge, or whatever. To, in order for you guys to have standing with is of the utmost importance. So when them talk about standing, these people now have no jurisdiction, no authority, no understanding. They must presume and assume it, so you have to rebut it. The accused object to the assumption and presumption made by the Foreign Crown Agency and all its agents. Case should be dismissed for want of prosecution, want of complaint, complainant and plaintiff, and compensation should follow the trespass by these Crown Agents. Where there is a duty to speak, your silence will only equate to fraud. Yeah, it can only equate to fraud. Crown agents, please present the contract that the accused has knowingly, willingly, intelligently, and intentionally entered with full disclosure permitting you, Crown agent, to deny due process of law by your arbitrary actions. Yeah, man, you know, our style, this is how we do it. I don't know if this recording going to hold up, but may I put it out there if anything, try to redo it.
And you know, we just take it step by step. It's not easy, you know. Truly. Because you got come under a plethora of pressure from all angles, people. When you are stepping a righteousness and a deal with truth, the adversary are going to use all kind of flunky to get at you. So you have to prepare. You have to prepare. You have to be resolute in your pursuit of this kind of truth. Because freedom is just that. Freedom is the power or the right to act, to speak, and change as one wants to without hindrance or restraint. So if me had something, yes or no, I'm going to feel like change. I can change. You understand? No man, no fear tell me, say, I can't do this. I'm a you is the next man. Who is you? This is why I hear this colonial clown who is a pain. I talk about them who want to get rid of free speech. Guy, them who want to remove freedom of speech by a talk about them have some new act where they might implement. It don't work like that. This is why I, man, and as an awok, we subscribe and adhere to the Tanakh, what Uno call the Holy Bible, and where the Israeli them call, you know, what them call it? Torah. That's what I'm calling it. Torah. But we say Tanakh. We love the Tanakh. Because the Tanakh itself says you know, lie with man. Like how you lie with woman. And I, I said that. The Bible said that. The Bible are burning out on the core. That's why all the demonic people do not like the Bible. We don't like nothing godly. We don't like nothing orderly. So we create disorder and chaos. And then try to implement some illusional order from the chaos where Uno create out there. Demons will burn you people to Uno core, man. Will burn you to Uno core. Yeah, man. Total decimation for Uno ungodliness out there. For Uno unrighteousness out there. And for the lack of truth, will burn Uno lava with acid. Judgment. 